when Prime Minister Joe Clark pledged in 1979 to move Canada's embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, there were warnings the move would bring demonstrations even violence throughout the Arab world. At the same time, Jewish Israelis welcomed the change in policy. The brand new PM, who was trying to fulfill a campaign promise, eventually backed down, but the debate nearly four decades ago offers a reminder of just how politically sensitive Jerusalem is for Israelis and Palestinians, who both lay claim to the city as their capital. While running for U.S. President, Donald Trump made a similar pledge to move his country's embassy. On Tuesday, he told Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas in a phone call that that is indeed what he intends to do. The news has the Middle East again bracing for demonstrations that could turn violent. The final status of Jerusalem is one of the most complex and contentious issues in the long-running conflict between the Israelis and the Palestinians. The city is revered by the three monotheistic religions. It is home to religious sites sacred to Christianity, Islam and Judaism, mainly in the old city in East Jerusalem. That section of Jerusalem was occupied by Israel after the Six-Day War in 1967. The Jewish state later annexed the territory, in a move never recognized by the international community. As a result, all countries with diplomatic missions to Israel maintain their embassies about 60 kilometers down Highway 1 in Tel Aviv. In light of Clark's failed 1979 effort, Canada's embassy remains in Tel Aviv, in a grey office building called Canada House. Canada maintains a small representative office in Ramallah that deals with affairs in the Gaza Strip and the occupied West Bank. Trump's decision to break from international norms and recognize Jerusalem as the capital is welcomed by many Israelis, who feel it's only logical, given the fact their country's parliament, the Knesset, as well as its Supreme Court and ministerial offices are located there. Sheldon Shorer, the former chair of Democrats Abroad Israel, said the move represents a very significant change. It will move Israel forward in terms of recognizing that Israel is a country like every other country in the world, he said. Palestinians and their supporters fear the move will also legitimize Israeli settlements. About 200,000 Jews live in several settlements in East Jerusalem. The world community, including Canada, considers the settlements illegal under international law, although Israel disputes this. Palestinian leaders say Trump's move would also kill his efforts to bring peace to the region. Trump's son-in-law and advisor Jared Kushner, along with other officials, has made several trips to the Middle East to advance what Trump has said would be the ultimate deal. Saeb Arakat, a top Palestinian negotiator, said that in recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, it is not only going to promote international anarchy and disrespect for global institutions and law, but the U.S. will also be disqualifying itself to play any role in any initiative towards achieving a just and lasting peace. There are worries that a change in the status quo over Jerusalem will spark protests by Palestinians in Gaza and the West Bank, while U.S.